Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. We'll see the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Chicago Bulls. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Look at Cleveland's starting group. Gooden is out there with Zadrunas Ogowskis, and it's LeBron James, then it's Larry Hughes, and it's Snow, and at the point guard position. Now here's LeBron. Knocked away. Pippen with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Bulls. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. And there's the pass to LeBron. Fade away. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You know, for LeBron, I think that mid-range shot is an important one for him to have in his bag. It keeps the defense honest. Rodman passes to Pippen. Harper. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Here's Ilgowskis after the Bulls pick up two. Just three to shoot. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Snow. He kicks it to Ogowskis. Just four to shoot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. A little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, earlier I spoke with the Bulls head coach. He said as long as they move the ball and don't take bad shots, their offense could carry them tonight. He told me we have guys who can fill it up. As long as we keep the defense guessing, I think we'll have a chance to score. Kevin? Appreciate that, David. Interesting report there, uh, GA. The team focused on what it can do offensively. Bottom line, in this league, you have to score points. It sounds like they have a plan. Yeah, and we'll see how it reveals itself, that plan. If the theory is proven right, they'll have a nice foundation to work from. And no doubt the size of Ilgowskis can be intimidating. He, he is a huge player with a surprisingly soft touch. First one falls for Wennington. He's checked in for Longley. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock him down from the line. Harper the pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. Here's Wennington. And the rejection by James. This is what makes LeBron so special. He does it at both ends. Great tenacity on defense. Out to the wing. Snow against Harper. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Pippen. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got his third assist on the night. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Snow against Harper. 
On the wing, James. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Boy, you got to do more than that to stop LeBron. I mean, he's strong, and when he gets up ahead of steam, he's a freight train. Outside, Jordan. Back to Harper. The teardrop falls in. Harper's got his third basket of the night. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now, here's James. And there it is for him. LeBron's got six. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And the slam dunk by Pippen. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. And it all had to be because that's not nearly as easy as they made it appear. Only one miss in the first five attempts. Clearly failing. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of turnover. Free throw good, LeBron. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. Every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how much longer we're going to see him at this level. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And early in the game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Snow. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And James throws it down. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. Here's Wennington. And it's Jordan atop the key. Shot clock at six. Here's Harper. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Nine points in the game so far. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. LeBron passes to Snow. And here is Hughes. Pass to Ogowskis. The turnaround J. Almost, but it rolls out. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Here's Wennington, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Jordan with a delightful delivery on that one. Pass to Hughes. Back to James. On the wing, it's Larry Hughes. Fires the three, and it's LeBron James with the three. LeBron's got 14 points for the game. LeBron James can beat you from anywhere on the floor, inside mid-range or from deep. Harper kicks to Jordan. Wennington passes to Pippen over James. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Wennington's got his second basket. Boy, fighting to keep that play alive. Beautiful tip in there. Passes it to Snow. Floats it up for James. It's stolen by Rodman. Snow against Harper. Inside. And Rodman gets it to go. And Rodman, a solid inside score. Picks his spots well and uses his body well, too. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout.
is for Chicago. Simpkins, he's checked in for Wennington. Kukoc comes in for Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Anderson Berejau's checked in for Augustus. Marshall comes in for Drew Good. Jones checked in for Larry Hughes. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Snow. And, you know, Marshall is an effective stretch for a guy who can play both forward spots, and he's a dynamite outside shooter. This is his first free throw of the game. And he knocks down the first one. Marshall hits them both. Now here's Kukoc. The dish to Jordan. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And the Bulls making a change here. Bush was checked in. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. They trail by three. And Gibson kicks to James. This one for three. And it's Daniel Gibson with the three. And I'll tell you what, guys. I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts. But his vision is otherworldly. Jordan against Jones. Right side, Kukoc lets it fly from 18. Misses off the right iron. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And the dunk by LeBron. So special and exciting to watch greatness. LeBron James tonight playing at the highest level. And so here is Chicago. The Cavaliers making the shot. Jordan, the pass to Bushley. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. To the middle. It's deflected. Stolen by Verajal. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And the shot goes down. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now here's Kukoc. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Gibson with it. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice groove going right now offensively. Floats it up for James. Not going to go that time. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And good that time. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Gibson looking it over. He dishes it to James. Down low. Here is Yao. Good, and the assist goes to James. Boy, still such an outstanding distributor. James takes great joy in finding his teammates in their spots. Gibson against Kerr. The pass to Jordan. Here's Bush. Over LeBron. Rebound by Anderson Verja. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 14-6 run. And that one's good, James. Now it's a six-point Cavalier lead. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Outside, Kukoc. He's looking for Jordan and finds him. And they double up Jordan. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. 
So it's Chicago now. Six on the shot clock. Kukoc against Verizon. And again, Chicago, no good. Cleveland leading by six. And they double up James. Outside Gibson. No good on the triple. Now the Bulls with it. Here's Jordan. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. And when Jordan is in rhythm now, his pull-up game, deadly. Shoots it with such confidence. James left side. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Free throw good, James. So he gets them both. And they've been the more physical team. Offensively seeking contact, looking to score in the lane, and getting to the line. A big disparity in the free throws. And that's been a big boost to their offense. Now here's Kukoc. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Cavaliers leading by six. Here's LeBron. Hope they'll get another chance. And out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Now Kerr. And there's the call on Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Bulls shooting their first foul shot of the night. One shot. That's good from Kukoc. Got a chance here for one more at the line. Bulls have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. One shot. Well, when you watch MJ, Michael Jordan, the championship mentality is obvious. He gives his team everything he has to win games, and then some. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. LeBron outside. Oh, and the jam by Marshall. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Here's Kerr. One second left. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Cavaliers ahead. They're up by four. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? 
Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. Chicago with the ball. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court for Cleveland, Jones is out there with Daniel Gibson. Then there's Anderson Derrigan. And it's LeBron James. And it's Marshall in at the four slot. Simpkins, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They lead by four. Kicks to Gibson, launches it, and that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Chicago with the ball. Jordan with it. He's picked up by LeBron. It's Jordan on the wing. Longley down low, working on James. And with that shot, the Cleveland lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Longley. LeBron against Kukoc. James left side. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. James has got the lead up to seven now for the Cavs. Outside Jordan. That's tipped. Marshall with the steal. And now here comes Jones leading the break. And it's blocked by Jordan. Boy, much respect for the defensive Jordan. I mean, he gives his all on this end of the floor. I mean, fantastic. Getting his hands up to block shots. Out to Kukoc. A three ball. It's rebounded by Cleveland. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Gibson against Kirk. On the wing, Kukoc. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Timeout time called time Cleveland. Almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Simpkins. Rodman comes in for Tony Kukoc. Pippins checked in for Michael Jordan. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Ilgauskas is checked in for Verizon. Gooden comes in for Marshall. Larry Hughes is checked in for Jones. And it's Snow in for Daniel Gibson. Yeah, I like the mindset of Canton, Ohio's Eric Snow. He's a tough nosed defender. And he also does a really nice job quarterbacking his team. The first one falls. So Snow nails both of them. 
Bulls trail by nine. To the paint. Here's Rodman. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Rodman's got his second bucket of the game to go. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Here's LeBron. Here's Ogoskis. Second shot opportunity, and he lays it up and in. And the Cavaliers lead by nine. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Now here's Pippen, pass to Wennington, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Chicago shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. And that one misses. The Cavaliers leading by seven. To the inside. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got four assists now tonight. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Now here's Pippen, and it's good for two. Pippen's got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. LeBron is doubled. Here's Snow. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And that one falls for Snow. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. And so Snow nails both of them. Bulls trail by nine. Outside Pippen. Goes up on the wing, and the Bulls tack on two more. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Pass to James. Here's Snow. He's guarded by Harper. Feeds it to Ilgauskas. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Harper against Snow. And there's the whistle. Three-second Three violation. <laughs> Cleveland leading by seven. James looking it over. Over Rodman. And another miss by Cleveland. Here's Chicago. Down low. Here's Pippen. The rebound by Hughes. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And that one's good, James. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Outside Pippen, passes it to Harp. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Free Pippen dives for it, but they recover it. Second chance shot. Shot is good, and the Cavaliers lead cut to just seven points in the basket from Harper. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep. The game is just far too easy. Here's James from down in the low post. It goes. 
points. LeBron's got 28 points for the game. And you know, for such a physically powerful player, guys, James also has a deft shooting touch. I mean, showing it off there. Here's Wennington. Six points for him. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. The pass to Snow. Pass to Hughes. James outside. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass break. Here comes Chicago. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Cleveland leading by nine. That one misses. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And here is Rodman. Passed along. Rodman trying to break free, and he lays it straight in. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Snow against Harper. LeBron, left side. They get a hand on it. Harper with the ball. 11 points in the game. The three, Pippen, offensive rebound. Here's Rodman. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And as a free throw shooter, Rodman has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. Bulls shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Rodman. Bushler's checked in for Chicago. He doesn't get the second one. Cleveland leading by six. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Hughes. And that's now 30 points for LeBron. Snow against Harper. Up top, Pippen. He's got eight. Here's Rodman. Lays it up off the glass. Rodman's got five points now in the quarter. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go timeout, timeout. with the ball. Timeout called Cleveland. in for Bush. Here's LeBron. Huge. Steve Kerr comes up with the rebound. Bulls trail by six. And he drops it in from the low post. Kerr's got his second bucket. And it's all about the release when you shoot the flow. Snow, the pass to Hughes. Cleveland moving it around. And another miss by Cleveland. And it's the Bulls with the ball. The Cavaliers leading by four. LeBron passes to Hughes. Rodman brings the double team. For the three, and it's Ilgowskis missing. Ilgowskis has gotten just one of his four attempts from the four tonight. Here's Harper. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Rodman no good. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. 
Here's Snow. Passes to Augustus. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is, patrol the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Free throw is good. Some changes for Chicago. Simpkins, he's checked in for Wennington. Kukoc comes in for Dennis Rodman. And it's Jordan in for Ron Harper. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Anderson Verajau's checked in for Gooden. Marshall comes in for LeBron. Jones checked in for Larry Hughes. And Daniel Gibson subbed in for Snow. And he makes both free throws. Now here's Jordan. He has seven. He kicks to Kerr. Back to Jordan. Outside, Kukoc. Goes up on the high post. The rebound by Ogauskas. Ogauskas has got six rebounds in the game. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Outside, Kuko knocks it loose. Stolen by Verajan. Now Cleveland moving it up. Gibson leading the charge. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's gone two for two at the line so far. That's good for Marshall. Marshall hits them both. Bulls trail by eight. Pippen kicks to Kerr. One fifty-one left in the second quarter. Here's Simpkins to the middle. And the dunk by Jordan. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. Now the pass to Augustus. And here's Verajal. 124 left in the first half. Six to shoot. 
Here's Ilgoskis. Verja trying to free himself up. Rebound by Pippen. Pippen's got five rebounds tonight. Short. That falls. Nice feed that time from Scotty Pippen. Pippen's got his fifth assist in this one. Outside, Jones. This is Duel Gauss. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's the Cavaliers now. Five on the clock. It's deflected, and he recovers it. And the basket is good. Jones has got four this quarter. Bulls trail by six. Now Pippen. He's got eight. Floats one up. No good on the shot. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And it's Gibson that time on the assist by Jones. Gibson's got eight. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Now here's Pippen. High post shot. And he hits the jump shot. He's got 10. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the half. Outside Gibson. And the shot is good. Nice touch there near the hoop. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And don't go away. We'll be right back. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 30 points, four assists, and one block. He was on the fringes in their last game. Tonight, he's been the centerpiece. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starter came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. Kenny, let's get your insight on Chicago. They're being far less aggressive than they ought to be. The free throw differential is huge right now. It's threatening to determine the outcome of the game. So they have to get into the lane and challenge defenders to make them try to stop you. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. It's been a clinic out there by James. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Bulls trail by eight. Rodman is out there with Pippen. And it's Michael Jordan. Then there's Harper. And it's Longley in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Yep, that one goes in there. Longley's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Bulls. And so here's Cleveland. Here's Snow. LeBron outside. The shot. Not enough on that one as it misses. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. A shot by Jordan, no good. The Cavaliers leading by six. Hughes, the pass to James. Here's Snow. Lock at six. Back to LeBron. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. 
Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. The Cavaliers pull it in. Hughes got four rebounds now tonight. Unloads. He's off on that one. And the Bulls going the other way now. Here's Pippen. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Pippen simply put, one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless scorer. The Bulls have shot three of five at the foul line. Free throw good from Pippen. Both shots good from the strike. Cleveland leading by four. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. The three from LeBron. Rebound by the Bulls. Rodman's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Boy, they need to pick it up here now. I mean, they're 0 of 4 coming out of the break. Now here's Pippen. 12 points for him. Outside Jordan. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Yeah, Jordan's so crafty in the pick and roll. He's unpredictable and hard to stop in these situations. Here's James. Yep, that one goes. James has got 32 points. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Jordan against Hughes. Jordan inside, and that one is off. Cavaliers leading to the paint. Here's Gooden. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Yeah, Snow, terrific job there. Just kind of setting the pace. Exceptional at breaking down the defense with his passing. Outside, Rodman. Back to Jordan. Hughes with the steal. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. Here's LeBron. And the rejection by Pippen. And it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. And the Cavaliers call time here. on now in the third quarter. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Jordan doing a nice job leaking out slyly. Excellent in transition. LeBron up top guarded by Pippen. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Boy just cannot buy a bucket guys. I'll tell you what that's a painful quarter for him and it's painful for me to watch too. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Dennis Rodman taking two shots. No good on the free throw. Right, 
And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Cleveland leading by four. LeBron drives in, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That is the savvy of LeBron on display. Doesn't just convert, but draws the foul and has the chance to tack another one on his point total. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Free throw good, James. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Harper kicks to Pippen. Pass to Jordan. Six on the shot clock. From 17 feet out. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Snow. Pass to LeBron. Misses off the left eye. Bulls trail by seven. The three, Pippen. Eyes again. Rodman. Rodman, the second chance bucket after some strong work on the rebound. You've got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. LeBron outside. Passes it to Augustus. Snow against Harper. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. The feed to Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. And I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfect. Here's the pass to Snow. Now, here's Gooden. LeBron outside. Here's Ilgowskis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Ilgowskis has got eight. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. LeBron against Pippen. It's rebounded by Zadrinus Ilgowskis. Ilgowskis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. No good from outside. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Here's Jordan, and Jordan slams it home. And the high-flying antics of Jordan, simply awesome. One of the best dunkers this game has ever seen. And here is Hughes. Pass to LeBron. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Yeah, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Ammonia strong, we call time that. Out, out. Wear that rim out. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. You look at James, what a contribution. And he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. So for the Bulls, Wennington, he's checked in for longer. 
Kukoc comes in for Pippen. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper. Anderson Barajas checked in for Cleveland. Daniel Gibson comes in for Snow. Now, here's Kerr. Outside, Kukoc. Right side, Jordan. And the Bulls with another miss. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Count the basket. Here's Kerr. Inside. Here's Jordan. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Jordan's got 12 points in just the second half. The Cavaliers leading by three. LeBron passes to Gibson. Al Verizhaw. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Il Gostas. Rebounded by Wennington. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. And here is Gibson following the three-pointer by Michael Jordan. And LeBron James gets it to go. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Outside, Kukoc. to Kerr. Four on the clock. For the lead. The shot. No good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. LeBron outside. To the middle. Here's Ilgauskas. And the jam by Ilgauskas. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and ten rebounds. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Now here's Jordan. He's got 26. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Here's Kerr following the score by Cleveland. Who coach passed to Rodman. Who coach against Gibson? Now here's Ku coach. T right on him. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Verizhao's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Gibson wide open. He shoots. Another shot. Here's Ilgauskas. And again, it's Cleveland. Ilgauskas is a seven foot three big man who does a really solid job rebounding the ball. Hughes against Jordan. Pass to Cooper. LeBron with the block. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Bulls trail by eight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Wennington with the bucket. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Here's Hughes. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Chicago making a switch here. Longley's checked in. One thirty-three left here in the third quarter. Two coach with it. Shot clock at five. It is now to Kerr. Fires for three. Verizhao grabs the board. Verizhao's got six rebounds here tonight. No coverage that time. James has got 42 in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Outside, Rodman. 
Pass to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. And here's Longley. On the wing, Kukoc. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's good on the way in. Kukoc has got five. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. LeBron James on the wing. The fader. Kukoc with the rebound. Fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender, but the touch was poor. Jordan, the pass to Kukoc. A leaner. Here's Rodman. Kicks it to Kukoc. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. He's got seven. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Here's LeBron. There's the three. No good. And so it's Cleveland heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. Right back after this break. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Cleveland leading by seven. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. LeBron James is out there with Anderson Barajal. Then it's Daniel Gibson. Then there's Ogoskis. And it's Hughes in at the shooting guard. Just five to shoot. No dice from the high post. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Jordan. Good on the 13-footer. Jordan's got 28 points for the game. An effective score from the in-between area of the court. Jordan doing his thing. Gibson against Kerr. James wide open. Misses the three. Bulls trail by five. And stolen by Ogowskis. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Gibson finds Verjean. Cleveland moving it around. And it's Ilgowskis missing. Ilgowskis has gotten only four of his 11 shots to fall here so far. And Jordan gets it to go. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Cleveland leading by three. Floats it up for James. It's stolen by Rodman. And Jordan has it in the corner. The shot goes down and gets this game back to even. Jordan's got seven points for the quarter. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Now here's Jordan. If a floater, he gets it in there. Jordan's got 35. It's just what the doctor ordered here. Boy, have they needed him here in the fourth. Yes, they have. He's made all four of his shots this quarter. Definitely looking to be a dangerous guy. Kept alive. Perry Zhao can't hit. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Here's Rodman, and Breaker he one. overdid it there. Too much side. force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way as much as you just saw him do there. Glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. So he picks up just one from the line that time. 
Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Some changes for Chicago. Pippins checked in for Kukoc, and it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Cleveland also making some changes. Gooden comes in for Elgostas. And it's Snow in for Daniel Gibson. And the pass to Rodman. Outside Jordan. Here's the three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. And the Bulls with possession. They've gone on a 10 2 run, not allowing much. Pippen. Great D that time from LeBron. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. It's good. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. Pass to Longley. Wide open. And again, no good by Chicago. Moves back up. And James pulls it down. James has got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's in there. James has got 44. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow. What a game. Outside Harper. Pass to Pippen. To the inside. Counted. And the Cavalier lead has been cut down to a point with the bucket from Rodman. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Looking to get it going. Here's Verichau. Makes it off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by three. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Jordan, count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Jordan's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And Jordan is simply amazing at finishing through contact. Doesn't matter what you throw at him or who, he finds a way to score. Taken away. Last break, here comes Chicago. Here's Harper. A shot off that time. And Cleveland the other way now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Here's Gooden. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Now here's Jordan. Outside, Rodman. Trying to find Pippen. He's got it now. Over LeBron. And it's off the back rim. No good. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end. And it's had a ripple effect on the team. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And as Rodman picks one up. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop him. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Cleveland. Fellas, it's impossible to ignore what a good job they've done at the free throw line throughout the game. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Well, he did enough there. He made it a two-possession game, at least. To the paint. Here's Longley. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to be on Farajan. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They've worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Cavaliers leading. Here's Snow. Poked away. Six to shoot. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession.
Here's James. Four on the shot clock. Over Pippen. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. Snow against Harper. Outside, Rodman. Passes to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. For three, Pippen. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The pass to Hughes. Down low. Here's Gooden. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Efficiency has been the hallmark right now down the stretch. He is making the most of his opportunity. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And with the fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. LeBron James. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in to what the Bulls coach was going over with his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Now here's Jordan. Long lead passes to Pippen. Shooting in Chicago, Scotty Pippen. At the line for two. And that one misses. And he's good on the second. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Here's LeBron shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Pippen. You just have to discipline yourself not to fall for James Pump fake because as soon as he gets you up in the air, you're done. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Chicago? They keep piling up the assists and they haven't cooled off Shooting two. at all. They've consistently drilled the mid-range jumper tonight as well, which has forced the D to come out on it. Free throw good, LeBron. Both free throws good for LeBron. 
And the free throw shooting has been excellent tonight. And how often do we get to say that? Here's Jordan. Whoa, oh, that was a strong goal. Pretty good display of strength by Jordan there. Absorbed the contact and still able to nail the shot. Free throw good, Jordan. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Pass to Hughes. Verizhao against Longley. There's the double team with Pippen. And here's James outside. Chicago grabs the miss. Hudman's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Michael Jordan using that strength of his to get into the defense to draw the foul on the way up. Chicago, Michael Jordan taking two shots. Free throw good, Jordan. And so Jordan nails both of them. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Four point game. Jordan against Hughes. He kicks it to Gooden. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Rodman's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Jordan with the bucket. And boy, in a close game, it's nice to have him on your side. He's gone seven of nine here in the fourth to give them some life. Here's Snow. Shot clock at six. They get it. Here's Gooden. It's tipped. Now Harper. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Now here's Jordan. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. And it's blocked. Floats it up for James. Hammers the alley oop through. There is no doubt about who they were going to on that one. Of course not. LeBron coming through. Harper kicks to Pippen. Over to the wing. Odman passes to Pippen. It's Jordan on the wing. The Cavaliers trail by four. James has a two-pointer, and he swishes it right through. LeBron's got 51. Oh, he is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. And Pippen gets it to go. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter, just served him up. Here's James time out, time out. after the made shot from Scottie Pippen. Timeout called Cleveland. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath. And Cleveland making a change here. Rogowskis has checked in. Here's Snow. Pass to LeBron. It's good. James has got 11 points in the quarter. Hard to play better defense than that, guys. I mean, but right there, James simply overpowered. Pippen, the pass to Rodman. Jordan with Hughes covering. Let's it go from 11. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist from Rodman. Rodman's got four assists now tonight. 
Here's Snow. Passes it to James. That one falls. James has got 55. LeBron can score from anywhere, but he's most effective close to the hoop. Very skilled in the paint. Hughes against Jordan. And the bucket is good. Three-point play That's chance good. here for him. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. Good, Jordan. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great in one play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Snow against Harper. Ilgauskas, and he uses the glass on the lane. Ilgauskas has got 10 points in just the second half. The Bulls leading by three. We've got 108 left in the game. Count that bucket. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. And here is Hughes. Now the pass to LeBron. Count it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. Outside Harper. I've been trying to break free. Harper, no good. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Here's LeBron. It counts. And that shot brings them to within just one. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk your possessions. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Right side, Jordan. Over Hughes, just five on the clock. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They trail by one. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And we call those ATOs, or plays run after a timeout. They often make the difference in a game. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Had to foul him on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making it. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Yeah, those free throws make things a little more simpler right now. They just have to guard against the three-point. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later.